Um, so looking at example one, we've got our one, two, three equations here um, with our three different variables. So we're working with x, y, and z. Uh, one of the most important things to recognize here is that our variables in each equation are coming in at the same order, right? So they're at the same place. And what I mean by that is we have um, our x terms first, we have our y terms second, and then we've got our z terms last. So you've got to make sure that your variables, your terms are following in the correct order. Uh, what I'm going to do is each of these variables without a coefficient, we know we can put a 1 there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. You'll see why in just a second. Okay. So we're going to start using something called a matrix. Um, and you can do a matrix by hand, but we're going to do it on our calculator. It's the easiest and fastest and most efficient way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a matrix equation um, using these three systems. So what I'm going to do, I'll have a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay. Variable or the coefficient of my first x term is 1. Coefficient of y is negative 2. Coefficient of z is 3. Next equation, coefficient of x is 2. Coefficient of y is 1. Coefficient of z is 1. And in the last equation, that first coefficient of x is negative 3. Coefficient of y is 2. Coefficient of z is negative 2. Okay, so I've got my matrix here. Okay, that's multiplied by the order that our variable terms come at. So we know we have x, we have our y's, we have our z coefficients. So x, y, z equals all of our solutions, right, or what these equations are equal to. So the first equation was equal to 7, and then 4, and negative 10. Okay. So we're kind of looking at these, they should resemble our equations. So we've got our x, y, and z coefficients, the order that those coefficients come in. So we have our x coefficients first, then our y's, then our z's, and then that is equal um, to what our equations are set equal to. So just make sure everything lines up and matches. Uh, the way that we solve this is by finding the inverse of this sort of um, we don't need to get too, too technical. I'm just basically going to show you how to put it into your calculator. Um, in order to put it into your calculator, we're going to take the inverse of this function. So you're going to type that in. So you'll have 1, 2, negative 3, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, negative 2. The inverse, so that's just an exponent of negative 1. Then that's going to be multiplied by our solutions over here. So by 7, 4, negative 10. Okay, so to plug that into our calculator, so that's actually going to give us our x, y, and z values over here. So it'll give us x, y, and z in that order. Okay, so on your calculator, on a blank calculator screen. Okay, so you're going to go to menu. It's a little hard to see, isn't it? There we go. Um, so you'll go down to go to menu, down to number seven, matrix and vector. Okay, you're going to go to one, which is create, and then we're creating a matrix. So one. Okay, now in this case, this is the first one we're entering in. This is three rows, one, two, three rows by one, two, three columns. So put a three here. Press tab. Delete that two, put a three. So now I've got a three by three matrix. Okay, now I can type these values in. I've got one, negative two, three, two, one, one, negative three, two, and negative two. Okay, so I basically just took my first matrix and put it in here. I need to scroll out of that matrix. And now I need to create this to the negative 1, so I can make it the inverse. So I'll press my up button right here next to the x squared. Type in the negative 1. Scroll to the right. Okay, so I've got the inverse of this matrix. Now I need to multiply, right? So times 
get my little dot. I've got another matrix here, so menu, down to matrix and vector, create a matrix. This time we only have one row, or excuse me, we've got three rows and one column. Okay, so three rows, one column. If you make a wrong matrix, you can always just delete it and make another one. Okay, so we've got, in this case, three rows, um, and then we've got one up and down column. Now I can enter in my 7, 4, negative 10. Okay, so I've got the inverse of this matrix that's got all my coefficients um, times what those equations were equal to. Press enter. Okay, and you can see I've got my x, y, and z values here, right? So x is 2, y is negative 1, and z is 1. Okay, so I have x equals 2, y equals negative 1, z equals 1. So that tripled order pair would show up as 2, negative 1, and 1. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, if you are tested on this, um, you need to be able to write it in this format as well as this format. So all the problems that you do today, I'm going to be expecting two different representations. So this is the original. This is the original equation. And this is how we transform the equation in order to solve for x, y, and z. So please be aware you've got to know both setups.